The two new characters from Sons of Caledon Faction, Caesar and Bernice, are going to be a hard choice for F2P players. Let me tell you how valuable they can be on your account. From how their kit works, their pros and cons, and how valuable they can be. Each agent serves a distinct role. Caesar being a defender and Bernice an anomaly DPS. Both characters offer exceptional value to teams but resources are limited, especially after the version 1.1 banners. First, let me tell you this. If you like a character's look or playstyle, regardless of the current meta, you should pull that character. It doesn't matter whether they are strong in the meta or not. You will find joy in playing the character you genuinely like. Saving up your currency for months for a character that is currently strong in the meta only to see them power craft after a month isn't worth it. So focus on pulling for the characters you truly enjoy. Now, are you ready? Well, now let's go and start with Caesar Kick. Understanding how Caesar Kit work is crucial to drawing conclusion regarding her pool value. Caesar King is a physical defender known for her immense utility and versatility. She parries attacks, debuff enemies, and provides a shield with both anti-interrupt and attack buffs, crucial in challenging encounters. Caesar X Special Attack, Chain Attack, and Ultimate all generates a shield lasting for 90 seconds granting a flat attack buff of 1,000 while also increasing anti interrupt levels for the duration. This allows Caesar to maintain a 100% uptime on the shields in most situations. And let's not forget about her perfect black mechanic. It negates damage and knocks back enemies without consuming energy, making her a valuable defense tool. Caesar's second core ability introduces a debuff that increases damage taken by enemies by 25% in a small radius for 30 seconds, creating a burst damage window for DPS units like Bernice White. Additionally, her shield throw crowd controls enemies and adding more utility to her kit. So now let's go and talk about Caesar King's team flexibility. Caesar stands out for her team building flexibility. She synergizes well with characters offering defensive assists such as Ellen, Lycan, and also Soldier 11 and let's not forget about Nekomata. Importantly, Caesar doesn't require a dedicated synergy character like Lucy to activate her core passive as she pairs easily with defensive assist characters. Her broad compatibility means she can seamlessly fit into many team composition, making her a long-term investment. A few characters such as Zuyu Wan, Rina, Grace, and Billy lack defensive assist, which further highlights Caesar's flexibility. A well-balanced team might include Caesar, Jane, and Bernice, and combining defense with high anomaly DPS output. If your team is squishy or lacks strong defensive option, Caesar is the ideal choice. She offers both offensive and defense enhancement, making her invaluable in teams that need more survivability and crowd control. Now let's go and talk about Caesar pool value. While Caesar doesn't necessarily qualify for any role, she is comfortable and dedicated whichever position you assign her during the combat. Ideally, she will replace stun agents in squads with the ability to deal powerful days while increasing her impact stat. While she is expected to deal significant damage on her own, she could be paired with other DPS to dominate the enemies in the arena. Besides, Caesar has a straightforward kit, so most players should be able to use her effectively in the battle as long as they can learn her parry mechanic. She outputs a lot of AoE physical damage which is a useful against multiple enemies. So before we go to Caesar's pros and cons, we're going to talk about that later on the video and let's now proceed to Bernice White. Bernice White excels as a premium anomaly DPS unit, known for her fiery attacks and immense value in Disorder team. Her playstyle centers around building hit through attacks which triggers her Nitro Fuel Cocktail state. This state inflicts a Scorch effect on enemies, enabling the team to build Fire Anomaly, which increases overall damage output. Bernie's ultimate allows her to rain down flames while switching to another character. This off-field damage capability means Bernice continues to contribute to the team's DPS even when she isn't the active character. 
Her role in Anomaly Teams is vital as she boosts the efficiency of disorder-based strategy while dealing consistent off-field damage. Now let's go and talk about Bernice White's team flexibility. While Bernice provides exceptional off-field damage and synergy with Anomaly Team, her flexibility is more limited compared to Caesar. Bernice works best in Disorder Team, paired with other Anomaly DPS units or those from the same faction. Outside of these setups, she can still be effective due to her off-field damage but may not fit as seamlessly into non-anomaly teams. As more characters are released, Bernice's team building option may expand but she currently shines brightest in anomaly based composition. She is a strong choice for players needing high off-field DPS or those looking to improve their far anomaly setups. So players who need Bernice White will be the following, Disorder or Anomaly Teams, if you're building an anomaly based strategy, Bernice off-field damage and synergy with far anomaly can greatly enhance your team's output. Players with character like Jane Doe or Grace Howard who lack another anomaly DPS should strongly consider Bernice. And also weak far team. If your far element teams are weak, Bernice offers a powerful upgrade. Her flame-based DPS enables a smoother gameplay within Far Anomaly setup, consistently dealing damage even while off-field. High damage off-field DPS Bernice excels in strategy focus on continuous damage. Even when switching between characters, her ability to contribute to the overall team DPS without being an active unit makes her a valuable asset in DPS heavy composition. Players will need Caesar Kit. Defense Support Weakness If your team struggles with survivability, Caesar is the ideal. Her shield offers both damage mitigation and team buffs, making her a crucial for teams needing more defense. Team Flexibility Caesar fits into nearly any team composition, especially with character providing defense assist like Ellen, Lycan, or Soldier 11. If you value your versatility and want a character who can adapt to a various setup, Caesar is your best bet. So the last one will be squishy defensive team. Teams lacking strong defensive capability can benefit greatly from Caesar shield and also crowd control. She can also enhance DPS unit by debuffing the enemies, making her useful even for more offensive or offensively focused team. So in conclusion, both Caesar and Bernice offers immense value for the best choice depends on whether you need Caesar's defense, versatility, or Bernie's anomaly DPS boost. Well, comment down below which one are you going to pull. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys on the next one and peace out, have a good day and stay quirky.